Hey, this is Jamal at Cooper Road Mini, and this morning we're going to show the installation of a baby seat in our favorite 67 Mini Moke here for a visit here during these summer months when it's up at its summer ranch home near the town of Downeyville. Oh, who are we kidding about the baby seat? As if that provides a measure of extra safety in this rail. What we're doing, actually, we're rotating the tires, uh, our extremely powerful 1345, and uh, my friend that owns it being a pretty aggressive driver. We've, uh, in a few months, really made an impact on the Yokohama A008s here. But it's just a quick chance to show the rear end. I tell people on these things uh, to do the rear springs. Don't worry about a spring compressor. You jack the car up, and the spring is loose. This one here I installed a Hilo uh, setup, but you can still see that you can easily rotate the spring. It's fully unloaded. Of course our Hilo is locked to a position here with this jam nut setting the ride height. But I set this up to where the height is just about when it's jacked up, the length of the shock somewhat uh, loosens up the spring, but doesn't let it sag down or risk any parts falling out. Um, I also tell people these are fairly easy to work on if you do want to change the spring or service the joint knuckle up in here where this other little stud goes. There's that ball joint in the plastic cup. Um, but you know, on a lot of minis, if you have a Cooper S like this one, you can't get to the upper mount of the shock in the rear. Now this moke couldn't be easier. Of course, that's one of the big advantages of the mokes. There's really no interior to worry about, doors, windows, things like that. Um, but you do have to undo the upper shock mount to allow the shock to swing. Unfortunately, the way they did the lower pin, it's impossible to move the shock inboard to, to undo the bottom, which of course would be a lot simpler to release the swing arm. I also tell people when you do release this, be careful. This brake hose becomes the limit of travel downward, um, and you'd want to make sure that you don't flex that too much. It looks like this one. Yeah, that's just the writing on it. But we'll keep an eye on these. Uh, I might switch them to the braided stainless type. Well, there's a quick look at our moke in for some basic maintenance in the visit with its cousin. And uh, we'll have it ready here for our friends to take back up to the ranch in a week or two. All right, on to work.